Throughout this bot series, we've been exclusively using the Poloniex exchange. Uh, since we've refactored the code, however, it's actually really easy to change this up and use any exchange we want to. Keep in mind that every exchange's API will do everything slightly differently, so there's going to be a bit of work with every new one you want to add. Um, there's really no formulaic way to do it. You have to read the documentation for each one. But as an example, I'm going to show you how I added Bitrex. Uh, Bitrex has an officially recommended Python wrapper for their API, uh, but I decided not to use it. The wrapper didn't support getting historical data we need for our backtesting, and in fact the methods used for that weren't in the official documentation at all, so I had to do some Googling to find them. So to start out, if you'll recall, backtest.py simply creates an instance of the bot chart class to get things rolling. The end goal of this bot, ch bot chart class is just to get the data we need loaded. Um, this uh, get points function is the only one interacting with other classes uh, for now. Therefore, I just created a new conditional that responds to the exchange passed into it through backtest. So here, I'll change this to Bitrex instead of Poloniex, and that gets passed through to this uh, to this function. There's a conditional here that says do this connection stuff for Poloniex and this connection stuff for Bitrex. Um, so if this is Bitrex. We call their public API method for get ticks, see get ticks here, uh, to get historical data. Um, we give it the market name, uh, the tick interval, and the start time in the Unix timestamp format. Uh, tick interval and start time. And it returns data that is very similar to what we're used to getting from Poloniex here. This is an example of this API called being made. You'll notice the keys in the JSON object are different for each service. Um, so this is Bitrex. It's just individual letters. Uh, all these words, high, low, close, open, are spelled out in the Poloniex JSON object. Um, that could cause us some problems with a few of our indicators, uh, but it's a problem we're going to solve very shortly. Uh, you might be starting to see that it will be helpful to standardize some of the terminology used in our bot, uh, and especially standardizing some of the outside data we're bringing into it. We'll do all that in a shortly upcoming video. So for now, that's it. It's a pretty simple change, but that's because we spent all that time uh, getting the bot so organized in that major refactor we did a couple videos ago. Uh, most things moving forward will be fairly concise and simple like this. All right, so I'll have another video for you tomorrow. Uh, to expand this bot a bit further.